Hello everyone, this is Kat with Artisan Designs by Kat, which really is just Kat because like, I'm not really selling anything. I'm just pretending I am. Um, anyway, today we're having a glazed kiln opening. Totally experimental things in here. May or may not survive. And I know, I know it's hot. I know it is. What was I thinking? But anyway, I have stuff in there. I have a friend that's moved. It's um, that's not going to be working with me anymore. And we've been friends for several years now. And she's a very good nurse. And I'm hoping something in here is going to be a good gift for her. Anyway, let's open it up. Well, if I can... Sorry, people. I know it's like... Okay, so first thing noticed, even though I changed the thermocouplers, still melts it all the way. What is up? I'm still going to have to change them again. Okay. So, this is a refire. This little cup is. Looks just as bad as it did the first time. Yep, looks just as bad as the first time. Okay, so I'm going to take this over here. Set it on my wear board. I was trying to refire a couple test tiles from a previous firing that was way under fired in the other kiln or this kiln I don't remember anyway yeah didn't make any difference this is Pike's purple this was I don't remember Val's turquoise Val's turquoise Pike's purple those did not go maybe I mis mixed them somehow not really sure so over here they go <sighs> still gonna be doing it still working it that's irritating. Okay. Have a little bowl. I wanted to just try the sunflower yellow. I think it's called sunflower yellow. Um, and it held up to the temperature. That's a good thing. Yep. Yeah. It's a cute little bowl. Cute little yellow bowl. Okay, I'm going to pause for just a second. Okay, this is pretty. Pretty platter. I think I had a little problem on the bottom, though. Let's see what happened. Okay, so I had a little bit of a chipping. Honestly, I don't think that that's... Why am I touching it? Why am I touching it? Um, that's really not going to be that much of a problem. I can totally sand that down and grind it down. And, well, that's not even cool. Uh, so, let me see if I can flip the platter over. It turned out pretty. Can we get it out here? In the, well, it's pretty warm. It's pretty, though. It has all kinds of cool colors. I used Night Moth, or at first the under base was John's Cash Blue. Try to get where I'm not like suddenly in the... Okay, John's Cash Blue. Then I tried um, put Night Moth underneath that. Can't really tell. I put multiple layers. And then I made, I was creating a um, an oatmeal made out of Al's base, Al's Winter White base. Um, I put tin and... Um, Iron oxide and some um, yellow ochre turned out pretty darn cool. The colors did. Okay, pausing. Gonna see what the next level looks like. Okay, so here is the second level of my kiln. I can't tell how dark or light it is. No, I didn't have it packed full because I just haven't had much time to 
really um yeah do a lot of pottery i made a few cute that oh that turned out really cute look at that so what i did on this was i used um oh celadon bloom first i had um this is a little hand-built basket i took speedball black underglaze um rubbed it on there wiped it off thought what's well, going to show through and then i had gotten the celadon bloom it's hard to see the the blooms but they're there that turned out cute oh cute here is okay that's hot it's still a bit warm a little I don't know it was a little tester that I did I had Jones cash blue and purple um, that I made maybe some night moth don't remember it looks like some night moth right there but I'm pretty certain it was purple and John's cash blue there's another little tiny little tester I made once again it's still purple John's cash blue oh and I put okay I put some of my um some of that base that I made with Owl's Winter White to make it a oatmeal and you can see the the oatmeal type effect that's what was going on over here too this is the 3.5 10 versus the other one had um, 5% 10 in it it turned out cool it behaves like an oatmeal And they're hot. Okay. I'm going to get my glove on for the next layer, especially before I take it off. Pausing. Okay. So, here's a bowl I made. It's totally experimental. Obviously overheated. Um, but it has some cool things in it, like... This is the oatmeal on the edge that I did. John's Cash Blue really shows up there. Looks kind of fall. But it just looks a little overcooked on some of this. It could be just because of the way I mixed everything. But it has a cool effect. I'll take these inside and show you a little bit better. Okay. Here is another little cup I made. You can see the oatmeal on it the way it did. This is purple, John's Cash Blue. Yeah, it's covered ish right there not as pretty I didn't do as good a job and it ran down a lot but that's kind of cool looking gives me some ideas for, for f some future things inside pretty cool I used fuchsia, fuchsia something inside of it cool there's that okay next thing yeah that's gonna be hot let me get a uh, glove okay so this is tea dust cosmic tea dust by Amico then there's night moth on it um, I totally fried my mouth from eating some chicken and dumplings the other day and that's kind of how my hands feel right now it's not round anymore but 
pretty pretty cool looking. I don't know if you can see. Mm, pretty. Okay. Okay. So here's some other testers I was doing. Um. Let's see. Here's, well, that's pretty interesting. Okay, these are the oatmeal type. I was going to call it maybe Al's Oatmeal. And this one is 3.5, 10. This one's 5% 10. There's not a lot of difference between the two. That's not a lot of difference. I think I'll stick with the 3.5 and save some money. What do you think, Al? That Al's oatmeal, or Al's nutmeg, maybe? Because it's such a pretty color. We'll go with Al's nutmeg. I'll let him choose. Anyway, those are pretty cool. Pretty cool tests. My hands are on fire. Okay, so now let's pull out the rest of them. Okay, so in a nutshell, blue hydrangea by itself. I wanted to see if it would show the texture. Guess what? It does show the texture. I didn't even do um, fill it in with the black underglaze or anything because I wanted the color to show through. So that is a win. Night Moth. Can we see this? Uh, I can't tell. Beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. My cool little design. If y'all only knew how many times I tried that style without it breaking and cracking off. So we can put like a LED candle or a regular candle on it. Then the Celadon Blooms. Once again, just wipe the corners away. Uh, wiped away the where I put the shell imprints. So pretty. So even though things get a little, got a little hot, and I'll probably have to readjust again, I've gotten some really spectacular effects, and now I know blue hydrangea will will show texture. Way cool. All right, continuing on. Okay, sneaking into the bottom shelf. What do I have here? Oh my gosh, what just happened there? I broke it whenever I lifted it out. So, I'm going to say they all melted too. Hmm. Turd heads. Anyway. I catch a fallen star bowl. Stuck to a cookie. Well, I don't know why it stuck to the cookie, but it did. But it turned out pretty. Okay. I'll try to get that off in a bit. Just going to set it over here. Catch a fallen star. Note to self, maybe don't use cookies all the time. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Marie. Another blue hydrangea. can't remember looks like oh I know what happened um, I used the celadon the bloom celadon but I used a bit more um, black underglaze so it made the color a little different and I just didn't do it as thick you can see the blooms on that the blooms on that And one more item. Did it melt to the... I'm going to have to get on my step just so I can get it. 
It turned out really nice, so kind of excited about it. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Can't see anything, but it's pretty. Okay, pausing. I'm going to take them inside. Then maybe I can see what I, what y'all are seeing. Okay, so there's the haul from the kiln. Carmel's wanting to get all involved in it. Kitty Carmel. Looking at all the different things. My little yellow bowl. That's bright. Look at that. Doesn't it look like a... He found gold. That's pretty cool. Blue hydrangea shows the texture. That one didn't quite work out as well as I wanted, but that's cool. That's cool. That's really cool if it wouldn't have gotten so hot. Love my platter. Hey, a platter came out, didn't break. That came out, didn't break, except for Carmel's trying to break it. Carmel, no breaky. I worked hard to get this. I'm going to put these out of her reach. Although I don't think anything's out of her reach. But anyway. So cool. So what should I pick? This or this? My husband likes that one. If I do this one, I need to grind it before tonight I go in. Before I go in tonight. But that one turned out cute too. Okay. So there's the kiln opening haul. Not as many because of, you know, work, but still. <laughs> Sorry, peeps. Okay. <laughs> I have kiln dust in my nose. All right. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye.